Hi, Lily. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, so it's obviously kind of cool to be doing this on Zoom, given like that is what I'm assuming happened with the filming of this movie because of how the shots are kind of laid out. Um, and so I want to know for you as an actor, what was the joy of kind of getting to do that? I'm assuming you guys filmed this like deep in the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean, a lot of the joy came from the collaboration. I mean, any any artist who's who wants to try something on a, like a hunch or on an intuition, um, a dream, I I think that's exciting, and I I want to be on board for that. So the whole kind of thing had that energy of, of mm -hmm. an experiment of of um, exploration. When it's it's really interesting because it's. Uh... I mean, I have seen a lot of your work, but it I, I've seen a lot of your horror stuff because I was a kid who loved the haunting. But then I've also seen like say anything and stuff that is a little bit more like rom com y. And so this fit bit more in that vein mm. in a fun way, because that first scene with you and Lenny is so good and like just back and forth and fun. What was the process like kind of I'm assuming it was hard building a relationship in that sense because you guys weren't in the same room right right well you know in some ways it's like it was really abstract but I kind of got very early on when I started acting that there was going to be some weird situations that were going to not make any sense and I was going to have to make it work and so that was one of these I mean anybody who does big movies I mean they're most of the time they're acting with those led lights you know which yeah. is so it's imagination. And um, and we know imagination, I mean, they did that, they did this study where three different groups did this exercise thing. One went to the gym, one imagined going to the gym, and one didn't do anything. And the one who imagined it was pretty much almost similar to the one who actually went. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I know that's the good, you know, lucky <laughs> us, but um it's almost like the imagination is so strong if you support it. And I'm assuming, cause uh, like, I think anyone who has any creative gene in them during the pandemic really kind of struggled cause it was, you were trapped. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that this though must've felt something like a release cause it's, you guys got to make a movie in, the, in a time when I think most people just kind of were like, I guess I'm going to learn how to knit. Yeah. Um, and so like, is that something like, I don't, I don't know how to like frame this, but like, how does that feel like knowing that like you got that outlet? Like, was that a joy or were you like nervous? Like what were your emotions like going into this, knowing you were getting to create something? Well, I think it's a great question because I think it speaks to just that creative force and that it, 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 I, I felt like a racehorse. <laughs> that was they couldn't get out of the gate when the pandemic hit I had ever like everybody we all had plans you know we all had yeah. things we were looking forward to look that's human nature and I did too and I felt like a, a racehorse who had all this energy was meant to race and couldn't so what do you do but that's kind of like what it's like anyway with any mm -hmm. kind of creative thing and so how to keep it moving in whatever way, because it when it backs up, it's very toxic and can be almost like scarily, like it can be bad news, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like thrilled to be able to create. And in some ways I think I saw, you know, I did a, I did a play. I was one of the first plays back right when the pandemic, like one of the first plays and you could feel the audience was so happy to be there. They were just yeah. so excited, you know, and the, the U.S. Open, the tennis was like the best U.S. Open in years because every, you know, and it's sort of like I had that feeling like gratitude, energy's flowing. Um, it was great. You said that and I was like, I remember going back to Broadway and it was like for three months straight. It was like Broadway's back and we're all like, yeah. we are, we got it. at this. <laughs> um, but yeah, you said something and I was like, I. Uh, I was supposed to see one of my favorite actors do a play and the week like as COVID hit and I was like, no. What? what was I was supposed to see Lungs with Matt Smith um, and Claire Foy in uh, at BAM. Mm -hmm. And then it got, it got closed. Like obviously it never opened, but- Matt it, Smith or Claire Foy? Which one's one of your favorites? 
Oh, Matt Smith. I'm a Doctor Who nerd. So it's Matt oh, Smith. Oh, I don't know him. Okay, got it. Got it. All right. He's in House of the Dragon. He's, uh, that's the new show he's in, but well, he was in Doctor Who. Well, plenty of Matt. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in everything. But I was like, oh, yes. There was like, it, it's, what's so interesting about this is like, it's very clearly like, yes, this was filmed during the pandemic. It, you can tell that they're not in the same spaces, but it's still feels like oh no these are people connecting and I, I I like that about this movie that it's not like uh, your scene with Lenny the whole time I was like I'm just gonna pretend that, that one wall is white and the whole rest of this is green right. and I'll, it'll work it'll work because you guys were so good and what were the conversations like was there any concern of making it look the same or were you guys just like no we're we're doing this based on these characters and their journeys and not so much like making it look like they're in the same room. I think the concern was what you just described, how your, your brain was processing, Mm -hmm. your mind was processing what was happening. I think the concern was, will the synapses connect or will they just, will the, will the watcher just go, fuck this, you know? This is, this, my brain hurts. I'm not doing this. I don't get it. And I I feel like Andrew had a good sense of those anchoring things that the, that the viewer needs in order to, to, to accept the, these conditions, Mm -hmm. you know, look, we go into the theater, we all make an agreement, you know, we know it's it's not true. I mean, right. But, and that, so it was sort of like kind of taking that agreement and sort of even requiring a little bit more from the from the viewer. Yeah, I think I think that's why I kind of like this as much because I, I go to a lot of theater and it's like I'm used to seeing someone mime opening a door. Right. I'm pretty sure I can pretend like a white wall <laughs> is the only white wall in this house. Um, but you, so you have to, everyone I, I from what I recalled has two scenes uh-huh. in in the movie. Um, and so your first one was with Lenny and I loved it very much. And then the next one you're with your sponsor who I don't think likes that character very much because the whole time she's like no stop justifying anything um but it's really cool because it's like she describes your character as joy um but then she goes on to describe like this absolutely uh for lack of a better term batshit experience with a previous sponsor and so how much of this was like already written and how many how much of this did you guys get to just like riff off of each other and kind of create these scenes that we got to see well first of all there wasn't any riffing you know because okay, so- yeah number two i was acting with um not with the actor the real actor oh, okay. so and i happened to be acting with she was a private investigator it was really weird i'm i'm like she was great but i was like how why are you here like how did this happen like you're a private investigator it's like first of all I was like talk to me I want to hear all about that you know (laughs) but um but so yeah I was not going to riff with a private investigator she had absolutely no improv skills whatsoever (laughs) (laughs) she have told you all of her dirty secrets (laughs) um but yeah so oh so was it just that scene or did you also did you get oh. to like work with Lenny or was no. it just that scene? Oh my gosh. I know. Many removes, many, many removes. Oh my goodness. Well, uh-huh. I mean, that's a testament to you guys because it's it it works, even though it is not in the like, you guys are not looking at each other, which is what they teach you in acting classes is look at each other. Right, exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. So obviously you have made <laughs> films where you're in the same space as the person that you're acting opposite uh what is the like which experience not do you prefer but which experience kind of like was more uh, your kind of flow was it like this where it's all so separated but it's very character driven or was it like would you have rather been in a different situation like what's which version would you have rather done for this how it came out or like if you could have all been in the same room well I always, there's something you can't deny, you know, a human being in front of you. And I think we're kind of getting that with technology and, and all this stuff that we, we seem to want human beings. Like we really got that in COVID. Like we want to be with each other. (laughs) I, I think there's, that's undeniable 
But I have acted with people who I didn't get any food from at all. And so I would have preferred, um, I would have preferred to just use somebody else who I had some energy with. So, you know, it's like, it depends. It depends. Oh, interesting. All right. So uh, as uh, uh, for this movie, it is like, if this had come out, like at the end of 2020, I think everyone would have been like, I can't watch this. But now it's like, we've had a little bit of time. We've been back out a little bit. So it's a movie that we all can kind of like digest and get into. What do you hope audiences take away when they get to see there there? Well, I mean, just what happened to you when you were looking at it and all the activity that was happening. If you were like on an MRI, we would have seen a lot of lighting up, you know? And like, I got to shut this up. <laughs> and I think anytime, any opportunity we have to light things up in here is a good thing. And so that in itself, I love, I think any kind of pattern break is really good for us. Like anytime mm -hmm. we're like, wait, what's that? You know, what, what is really good for us, you know? And, um, I think it's always good for us to see something that's that's different. And I think it's great for us to see an artist who's thinking outside the box. Um, so those are all those are all just really simple, superficial reasons that that um and then of course I hope I hope people get what you got that like, gosh, like you don't even have to be with somebody and you can still have like real stuff happen. Mm -hmm. We can if it's ideal if we're with each other, but we can also still get a lot from each other just by imagining and screens. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I I loved it. It was so funny watching me realize that I was like, oh wait, no, they're in one scene together. These, this is not just a like Zoom. Cause the way you guys, like, I was like, oh, this is a Zoom. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait, I'm back, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I got it. Um, but I can't wait for everyone to get to see it. And thanks so much for talking with me today. Thank you. Thank you.